Stock and Lock fam, what's going on? It's your host, Gordy, and uh, it's a beautiful Monday. What could I say? Ending out March on a, on a solid note. We have some good plays ahead of us for April. It's March 29th, and looking forward to going over today's Stock and Lock pick with you guys. Remember, in this, in this conditions of the stock market, and even in the conditions with March Madness going on, just be, just be weary of your plays. Make sure you're locking in profits whenever you can, and uh, with all that being said, let's just jump right into it. All right, for our lock, we'll be heading to the Garden in New York, where the Knicks host the Heat. And although the Knicks are playing at home, the Heat are favored here by four points with a total at 204.5. And, and the Heat are on a six-game losing streak right now, and they just got beat by a young Charlotte squad the other game as well. What really stands out to me in this matchup is this injury report that's going on between both squads, honestly. The Heat here, though... Are, are a bit banged up. Their squad is up in the air. Players are coming and going. And if we take a look, Vincent and Drogic, both probable. Bealiza, he's questionable. And also, Oladipo is supposed to make his debut, but him and Dunn are both out tonight. Um, Oladipo, you know, like I said, he's supposed to make his debut, but he's out due to illness. Not going, Not sure what's going on there. Maybe COVID or something. But I don't know. With, with everything that's going on with the Heat's team, players kind of freely coming and going like it's a damn barbecue i just don't see them playing enough defense against this strong knicks team that uh you know the heat are known for normally they're known for that defensive caliber but they just don't have that that uh spaz in them right now <clears throat> the knicks on the other hand are coming off a w against the bucks and you know that that, that win wasn't the most impressive but uh they're riding this three game winning streak and i you know, although they beat a very short-handed Bucks on Saturday, I, I do see them um, winning this game. And I, I love the plus four Knicks here, even if Julius Randle is not present. That's our lock for today. Take the Knicks plus four and let's jump right into our, our, our stock pick. That brings us right into our stock pick we're going to be focused on for the next four to eight weeks. Treat this as a swing play. That's going to be CarMax. All right, ticker symbol KMX. And I'm sure you guys, you know, have heard of CarMax at one point or another. But if not, you know, they, they engage in the retail of used vehicle and wholesale vehicle op auctions. So, you know, with, with COVID taking place right now, I know we're, we're kind of jumping back to uh, normalcy again. But w with COVID, you know, if you think about it, people are going to car dealerships less. Um, more and more people are buying cars online, be that new or used and having them shipped directly to their homes, right? Faceless contact, I'm sorry, contactless delivery. And I mean, we just know that these used car companies are seeing pretty good demand and CarMax has their earnings coming up uh, on the first, which should be positive. Um, they should be beating earnings. I, I also, a lot of these other major car manufacturers, you name them, GM and Ford, are having some production issues if you will um related to things like chip shortages and so a lot of these businesses like carmax and these other uh you know i think it's carvana they're they're doing well because they're seeing this very strong demand for used cars and i'm excited to go over the technical analysis with you guys here shortly okay we're looking at carmax come over to bar chart get some technical opinions we have a strong buy here and from that, let's look at the previous close at 133. We're currently at 134.57 at the time of this recording. Good amount of volume. Five day change. We're positive. 52 week range started at 47 about a month and a half ago or whatnot. And now we're at 136. That's good to see. Let's compare these numbers to. Um, some more metrics and insights regarding CarMax. So if we come down here, 21 bill market cap. If we look back at that 52 week high, remember? So 136.45, currently we are below that by only a little bit over 1%. From that 52 week low, 
look at the growth from 47, 185 percent. What's happening with our simple moving averages per every you know, 30 days? We have a 4% increase from 50 to 200 simple moving average. Look at that increase. So that's great to see. That's what you want to see before jumping in a play. Kind of analyze where it's at now, consolidating a bit, but we're starting to go up. Um, so this is great to see. We have a neutral buy here at the earlier this year. I went from neutral to buy. We have, a, you know, buy, um, underperforming, you know, outperformed in, in May. So just things to be weary of. And look at this latest report here on March 29th. That was today. Keep your uh, seatbelt fastened as CarMax heads into earnings. So like we, like we mentioned in, you know, previously, they have earnings on the first. It, it, in my opinion, they'll beat it. But, um, you know, let's, let's hold. Let's get in this. Let's hold through earnings and let's make some bread. Uh, let's, let's take a look at some more technical on this. Guys, starting March 16th, right? We have this up of the one wave coming back down uh, for the two came up, coming up for the three, consolidating here for four, and we're coming to push up to five. But if we take this is the weekly chart, by the way. But if we take a look here, um, right here, right? We're coming down from this one, to two, to three, to four, and we're right here, ready to uh, get in at a great zone. Uh, let's look at the day frame. So you guys can take a look at uh, what I'm talking about here. So on the day frame right here, right? So we have nice little down wedge, bullish run up for the three wave, coming down in this crucial buy zone, which I labeled right here for the four wave. So, you know, you can get in at 133 wave for a little bit of a pullback. We, we, we saw a nice little run today. But um, yeah, 133, 132, 129. And from there, that, that's where the profits happen, right? Collect along the way. We have a price target one at 136, price target two at 142, price target three at 150, and a price target four at 153.60. These are the price points where I'll be taking my profit. How did I find those price points? Well, if we look back a little bit further, zoom out to the week, what we can see here is, I did a fib extension from the bottom of the first impulse wave to the top of the end of that first impulse back down to the um, first pullback or retracement of that wave. And that gives us some extension levels. We're staying above this 50% over the 118 mark because we're at 134. And for our next price targets, these, this is what we have here, okay? So that's how I came up with that. Um, Cut loss 125 and below, but nonetheless, guys, this is a great play to get into. Uh, wait for this RSI to come back down a little bit further, um, and and best of luck. Let's make some bread together. Uh, remember, my referral links are in the description below, and if you want some free Bitcoin, you can use that BlockFi link as well. All right, guys, take care.